Hey, Legendary Ocelot here, and today, here's a tons of like mini houses that I'll teach you how to build. And so like a 2x2 two two house, the smallest you can make in the game. 3x3 three three house, 4x4 four four house, a 5x5 five five house, and a bonus finale, a small tree house. It's gonna... Let's do this. So for the 2x2 two two house, you'll need oak wood planks, glass panes, a chest, a crafting table, a furnace, a wind trap door, an oak door, a red bed, or any color bed you want, and oak wood slabs. So first, let's get the general base going. So first, too high. Too high. And then, after that, we put a door over here. And two trap doors. Not door. Trap doors. Shift click on this. And then, after that, for glass paints. Don't worry, mobs won't be able to go through this, as you can see. Next, get in your house, you go up, and then you top this off. Put this temporary block to make space for a, for a bed. And then go back in and break that block. You'll have a bed now. You have a bed now. And last but not least, two oak wood slabs on top. This is a pretty, well ho pretty good house. Now if you want, you can also do this if you want. Get a little extra like a little extra wall if you want and then after that is done you got we're well, gonna hide a few things chest down here before you store your stuff crafting table here and furnace here you gotta ship click and then where you cook your stuff and then a simple two by two house is completely done it's actually pretty small it may look weird on the back but that's fine Special. This is meant for like your very first day. If you got un lucky and find enough wool and, and yeah, make a glass. Now let's do the free by free house. As soon as I put the stuff back. Try to do it as fast as possible. It's a really nice house though. Next, free by free house. You'll need oak wood planks. An oak door, cobblestone stairs, cobblestone, cobblestone slab, chest, crafting table, furnace, oak door put in there by accident, red bed, glass pane, I put this away, and wind trap door. Actually, put this up, save some space. And we don't need that for now. So first, get the base though going. So putting an oak door, four oak planks around. Go around like this. And glass pane here, here, and here. Oak wood between those. And then after that, there's still not enough room for a bed, so we have to put the bed in the roof. Like this kind of situation as soon as I get there. I have to temporarily get rid of the door to place it. Now put the door back down and you got a bed above that I can sleep in. And then surrounding that bed you only need cobblestone slabs surrounding it. Mm. It could look a little better. Don't get in there. Don't put it there. You got yourself a bed in your roof. And then the process of filling it up with stuff is gonna be similar to what we would did with the two by two house. First, double chest down here. Put an oak door there. It lets you. If not, then just break that. And replace it. Actually, 
two chests. If you if you want to go through all that work, like the uh, second chest, a storage. If you're willing to take a while down there, and then when trapped order, it's like a hideaway feature. Crafting table, furnace, and another furnace to make it double speed, and then you did it. Hideaway chests. That's really hard to access the bottom one, but. You got the idea. If you're like really good, like aiming really far down. Not even I can do that. It's hard. If you want to go through all that hardness just to access the bomb chest, just skip this. Yeah. But, if you're like really good at clicking below starting things, it's a good idea. And also, if you don't like that stone, just replace the wood so it isn't this visible. Yeah. Alright, so it isn't as visible. But we got a really nice house. A free by free house. Get the stuff back. And then we need, didn't even need the cobblestone stairs. And. Fit. Now, four by four house. What you need for this? Oak wood planks, cobblestone, oak wood, glass panes, chests, crafting table, furnace, red carpet, red bed, oak door, item frames, and, an, and a tool. I'll use iron pickaxe so I can use any tool you want. So first, line these with oak wood. Make it, give it a little more depth. If you're willing to take a little more space, you could extend these, get a little more room, but... Like, in fact... Let's do it that way. The spilling process is the same, except this is a replace of oak wood. Mm. Like this kind of situation. Here. But if you want to build it, like, normal... Like, not, you have even less room on this. Place that with the wood. The wood just to give it a little more texture. Make it a little more interesting. And then, place this. Glass panes in the back. Place this. If you want, you can also knock these out for glass panes. And then after that, take out doors. Go back. Two doors. It's gonna be a double door. Pretty nice for a 4x4 four four house. And then on the top of this, it's gonna be a fur layer of wood. And then cobblestone in between. So it's like a cobble top. And then, I'm gonna make this like a, like a, a rustic feel kind of situation. Like a village style. Right. So, wood at the top here. I forgot one thing. I forgot something. You do need those cobblestone stairs for the 4x4. Four four. Sorry for that. And then... Four. Four. Put wood here. If you're not going to use this, then just replace these with wood to make it cheaper. And then four. Well, for the other side. Four. 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 And this is going to take slightly more room. If you don't want to take very much room, then just get rid of these. Although it might not look as good. It depends. If you have a little extra space, though, it's definitely worth it. As it gets a little more depth. Alright. But if you seriously do only have a 4x4 four four space, then you can just get rid of it. But if you have a tiny bit more space than cobblestone stairs, I recommend it. And then after that, go inside. Did we forget anything? Go inside. And it's time to fill it up. First... Furnace, 
crafting table. Just here, just here, double chest of storage. And then, if you want, you can replace the double chest with a bed. And then below that, you can put in double chest if you're like good at aiming. Or you could do this kind of situation. Just replace that with oak. Bed. Oh, bed's for walk. Never known it. Either way, you could put a bed. And then double chest. And you can sleep in the bed if you really need to. Actually, that doesn't work. Or just, just do the same thing in the roof. So... Put that there, like normal. And then replace these two, and these two, two double chests. You could do trap chests if you have a little bit more redstone. If you got in redstone, and you could place these up trap chests to get even more storage. In such a small space. No. Actually, should I do that? Oh, I can. I can. Trap chest. Regular chest. Mm. If you didn't get trap chest yet, then you can just do one lane and just get rid of that. But you have tons of cool stuff now. So, 4x4 four four house. Done other than one last feature, which is optional. You're putting an item frame on one or both sides, whatever you wish, and put in your in the tool of choice and you could replace this with wood so that's the entire house done really nice for only being a 4x4 four four. Hmm. serious upgrade over the 3x3 three three. get rid of the stuff that we don't need anymore Fifth thing, five by five. You can use oak wood planks, oak wood, stone brick stairs, a chest, crafting table, a furnace, an anvil, red carpet, red bed, an armor stand, any kind of armor you want, and a painting. So first we're gonna do use oak wood if you have more space you can extend it like the 4x4 four four, like what you would do in the 4x4 four four if you want it there like this feature let's get rid of that place that with oak wood and do this and then have it just be a blank wall and oak wood and then repeat that same side and then put two of these. And this is where your door will go. Don't forget the door. Ah, forgot to put a door in there. There you go. And we'll put this in the inside. And then after that, we will make another roof. Once again. So, raise this wood. Raise the wood by one. And then fill these up. And then, we're going to make the roof. So, it's going to be a cobblestone stone bricks. If you have a little extra room, you could extend this by one. In fact, that's actually what I'm going to do to get a little more depth. And you can do this formation. Same, same roof design as what I did with that small house in the Ultimate Survival Base and the Survival House. So let's get this roof done. 
There we go. And then let's go to this side. And get that. And just so you know, I forgot to do this as well. Don't forget this part. It's an important part. What you need is stone brick slabs. I forgot that part too. And first, before we begin with that, I forgot everything today. <laughs> We need putting glass panes this side and this side. And then you only have to do this if you did the extended part. If you didn't do this extended part, you can just top this off with stone bricks slabs. But if you want to do this extra bit, then I recommend it. So this, this, and then this, and then this. Make sure it's not that side. This. You'll have to do this bit if you don't want to make it slightly larger. And then that. And then this, this. This, not that way. Not that way. There's being a jerk today. There we go. This, this. Then turn around and do this. And it should look like this from the exterior. Now let's get inside. Should be a free by free space in there. If you wish. You can also put in some torches if you wish. It's an optional bit, but we'll light up the room a little bit more. I recommend putting them high up like this. And next, temporarily fill all this with red carpet. And then, this is going to be the same interior as I did for Ultimate Survival Base. Crafting table here, furnace here, chest here, chest here. And then bed here. And then after that, you can put an anvil here. And then take this, take a painting. Use any painting you want, whether it's up here, preferably this one, and preferably that one. Got them first try that time. So, never happens. And you can put in a couple more stuff if you want. There's room for a few more things. So, did the 5x5 five five house. It's very spacious and homey for what it is. It's actually spacious for only being 5x5. Five five. And then, it's really stylish. If, especially if you have that optional bit that extends it a tiny bit. And then, 4x4 four four is really nice as well for its size. 3x3 three three is, pretty, is very compact. And two by two is really compact. <laughs> now let's do the bonus one. The tree house. You know what? Put all my important stuff in here and just clear my entire inventory. Oh, forgot. If you wanna you can also replace the anvil with an armor stand. If you can also re if you don't have an anvil yet. Place it in an armor stand if you wish. Alright. If you don't have the anvil. More important stuff. Nothing else matters. I always forget this command. There we go. Now Let's do the bonus one. Small tree house. Oak with planks, ladders, glass panes, a red bed, painting, chest, crafting table, furnace, red carpet, wooden trapdoors, 
and an oak wood door. First, find a jungle tree or spruce tree, and then make a ladder. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six up. Place those vines with ladders. And then, you put a, a wood block here, wooden trap door here, wood block 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 here. Feel free to replace that with the oak wood. Do this kind of formation. And then do this. This. Place that with oak wood. Do like a little around the corner situation. It's gonna be kind of small. In fact, only gonna be you can get rid of this spot if you want. Except for this one. Waste it. I'm gonna make it a little more spacious if you wish. Break this. There we go. You with this. And once you reach the four block high mark, that's when you make the roof. It's gonna be a very simple roof. Just do this. It's gonna look like a box. And then surround the tree bit with wood. It's gonna be a very it's a very simple roof. But it's very stylish for being on a tree since it's on a tree. And then interior torches if you wish, although it's not completely necessary. And then after you get here, start here, and then here, place that window, and then replace that with a window. If it doesn't connect, just put another wood here. Now the windows are done. Now we're gonna do the interior. So first, start here, double chest, crafting table, and furnace, bed, and then anvil. You can still be able to open this. And you go so for another double chest here if you wish. And for a little more storage, it just won't work as you and it'll block the thing. Oh, we're just gonna stick with this. And we're done with the treehouse. If you want, you could also add a painting here or here. Just make sure it doesn't cover the window. Oh, still double. Come on. There we go. And our one here if you want. Now the entire treehouse is done. Actually, looks pretty stylish even from the outside. Okay. Did all the houses and they're all pretty good. So, hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.